here in Indy with the general manager of the Las Vegas Raiders, Dave Ziegler. And Dave, a different setup since the last time we talked. A little less pressure, no lights, no studio, just you and I chopping it up. So how are things? I know it's been a busy month for you guys. So how, have, uh, how is life as the GM? Yeah, it's been, it's been exciting. Um, it's been a lot of fun just getting to know all the different people in the building from scouts, coaches, um, equipment, video, trainers. I mean, there's a lot of great people. So we've spent a lot of time here in the last three weeks, four weeks, just getting to know everybody in the building, um, learning everybody's strengths and, and all the, the different things that they do to add value to the team, along with evaluating the team and, you know, starting to go through that process. Um, so that's been a big part of what we've done. We've also um, had draft meetings here the, the week of February and it started to kind of uh, crack into this year's draft class. Free agency is going on, um, you know, hiring coaches, hiring scouts. So um, it's been a whirlwind, but it's, it's also been good and it's been made easy um, by all the great people that we have here already in the building that have made it run smoothly. You know, when I was talking to Josh earlier, he brought up the people too about one of the, the one of the first things he said is like, hey, there's good people in the building. It's been really important for Dave and I to meet all these people and to understand everyone's role and what they do. From your point of view, when you come in, like how vital was that for you guys to get a lay of the land in terms of the building, the personnel, and, and not just the guys playing on Sunday? Yeah, it's huge because there's just such an element of trust in this business. Um, you know, you're trusting a lot of people to do a lot of different jobs, right? Whether it's field maintenance, whether it's, like I mentioned, video, whether it's athletic training. And so um, there's a lot of people to get to know and to gain a level of trust in, in what they do. And for them to gain a level of trust on who I am, right, and who Josh is, and really start to form that team bond that goes beyond just the, the 53 that are out there on Sundays, but it's this whole organizational team that needs to work together, that needs to believe in each other. And so um, having people that you can trust in those roles is um, just a vital part of, of us being able to do what we do best and, and play to our strengths too. You know, obviously here in Indy at the Combine after a year in kind of a virtual setting, everyone's back, the city's alive, which is a lot of fun for us to experience the Combine once again. But for you and Josh and the staff, when you come in here and, and you really look at what we need to accomplish over the next week, what are kind of the, the line items on that for you all? Yeah, I think so. A little bit different maybe this year than in subsequent years. So, you know, because when we came in, let's from a free agency standpoint, uh, we you typically would be a lot farther ahead than, than maybe where we are today. Now, we'll get to where we need to be. Um, that won't be an issue, but we'll spend a little bit more time here this week still digging on some film, getting to know the free agency class, um, buttoning up that process for ourselves. You know, there's also then, and, and so I think that's, that's one objective. Then I think there's also the element of getting to know the guys that are here, getting to know this draft class, spending time in the interview room. Um, with some different prospects. We have formal and in informal interviews going on. So we have you know, quite a bit of information we're going to gather from the prospects. Then there's the element of seeing, um, seeing the guys on the field work out. But I think it's, it's really you know, getting comfortable with the free agency class, getting to start to getting to know the college class, um, it are probably two of the biggest objectives here for us this week. You know, I know you brought up free agency and we're about, what, two and a half weeks out from the start of free agency. I imagine at this point in the game, you and Josh and, and the team here kind of an idea of how you want to attack free agency. Uh, when you look, and, and I'm not talking about positions or anything like that in, in terms of specifics, but I imagine you have a pretty clear vision of how you want to attack that process. Yeah, and I think, well, and I would say, like, I think the big thing for us is when we look at attacking that process, it's first understanding the different elements that go into someone fitting the Raiders organization. You know, we talked about that in our press conference a little bit when we, when we first started. There's an element of football intelligence. Um, there's an element of durability. And, and um, you know, you can't be a valuable player if you're not available. And then there's an element of personal character and personal fits. And so I think that's, a big, that's as big a part as any, of any of understanding who those players are in free agency. And then, and then getting to the skill set and understanding how the skill set may fit our team. But if those other elements don't fit and the skill set is great, it still might not be a fit for the Raiders. And you talk about that, that football intelligence. Is that something that you can see tangibly on film? Like, okay, you know, player X made this decision or player X should have made that decision. Is that, how do you kind of go through that process of grading where a guy is in that aspect of his game? Yeah, there's an element of being able to see it on film. And there's also an element of the unknown because you don't always know exactly what someone's been asked or how someone's been coached in a, in a specific way. And so there's also the element of research and, and you know, finding out different ways to get information, you know, on, um, on players' backgrounds. We go back to our college history and things that we had, you know, on, on players coming out. So there's a lot of different pieces of the puzzle that you can kind of fit together. 
Um, you're never going to know as well as someone that's been in the building with that person day in and day out. But um, you can still put in the work to, to get an idea and, and to, a, to, a, to a level where you feel comfortable with it. You know, we talk about information gathering and, and kind of painting the picture of a player, whether it's a free agent, a prospect, whatever it may be. But I imagine that this week here in Indy has to be information overload in, in a lot of senses. How do you kind of parse through that information and figure out, okay, this is what's really important, this maybe not so much? Because I imagine just in terms of the data and the numbers and how fast this guy is, I imagine it can, it can be kind of daunting in that sense. Yeah, this is an information gathering week. Like that's the goal and I think that's the most important job when we talk to our scouts and we talk to the people that are here that are involved in personnel. This is an information gathering week. And so I think all the information is important. Um, so I don't know if we kind of sift through it. What we do is we have a lot of different people in the organization that are responsible for gathering all these different parts of the information that's out there. And then all those, all those little pieces of information are, are like a, are each their own individual puzzle pieces. And then we'll start fitting them together, fitting them together, fitting them together as we work through the process till we have what we would consider on each individual player like a complete puzzle. You know, I know you and Josh talked about it briefly during your introductory press conference, but now that we're, you know, four or five weeks out from that, when you look at the characteristics of a player that you want to bring into this program, what are the, the things that you all really covet in terms of what a guy brings to the table? Yeah, well, I think it starts with just this idea that we talked about in terms of a program fit and, and, and players that... Um, have strong football intelligence, um, players that are durable, players that love football. That's where it starts. And then we'd be here for a long time if we started getting into individual skill sets and like, you know, what we look for in a receiver versus what we look for in a defensive tackle and all those things. But those simply put, like, those are the key elements of where it starts for us. And then, you know, we build it out from there. But if, if um, again, it all doesn't fit together at the front end it's you know it, it makes it it makes it difficult to have make the correct judgment just based on ability and skill alone you know I, I imagine that you and Josh have a partnership in the truest sense of the term but when we go through this draft process right as we're getting as we're getting closer to, to that weekend at the end of April what does that really look like for you two in terms of how you kind of uh, attack and, and uh, analyze the guys that could possibly end up in silver and black in a few months yeah, well, it's, it's a long process because, they're, they're, like you said, like we talked about before, there's so much information that's coming in. And so we'll just continue to narrow down, like, again, who our Raider fits um, and take that group of whatever it is, 600-plus players, and continue to focus and focus and fine-tune it as we learn more, as we spend more time on the tape, um, as we start putting those puzzle pieces together. And so a lot of that time for, for Josh and I is just going to be sifting through that information, uh, watching film and putting all those puzzle pieces together. So it's a laborious process, but um, it's a rewarding one too at the end of the day when you make good selections for the Raiders. Yeah, I think that's the, that's the plan for everyone, right? We're just wrapping up here with Dave Ziegler. And Dave, I'm curious, you know, here in Indy, and it's a different kind of experience this year compared to years past, like you brought up, but how important is that, the interview portion of it, getting to know these prospects in terms of like, hey, this guy runs a 4-3, but perhaps the program fit, like you said, isn't, isn't there? Yeah, I think it's, it's the most important part of being here. The medical information is important too, but anytime you can spend face-to-face -face with a prospective employee and ask them about their strengths, talk to them about their weaknesses, um, get a feel for their personality, like this is really kind of a, a jumping off point or a, you know, a foundational brick you know, in this pre-draft process. And it might be 15 minutes, but it's 15 minutes that we'll maximize uh, we'll have a plan for. We'll get exactly what we need from each indiv each individual interview that we do, and that will be the kind of the foundational piece for that player. And then you build the film on top of it, and then there's the, the combine workout. There's a pro day workout. There could be a 30 visit, you know, and you keep stacking the bricks on top of each other till you feel like okay, like this is like this is someone we're gonna be interested in. Yeah, an expansive process, no doubt yeah. about it, right? Nothing that happens overnight. Well, Dave, I know it's an incredibly busy week for you, so thank you for carving some time out for us. We'll see you around Indy, and, uh, and good luck. Yeah, appreciate the time, as always. Thank you.